Today I'm gonna to give you the best serve advice you don't wanna to listen to, but you need to. Number one, you see this basket of serve right here? Stop practicing baskets of serves over and over again the wrong way. You're not gonna get any better. If the last thousand weren't good, guess what? The next thousand are not gonna be any better. Number two, you need to take your shadow stroke practice seriously. Seriously, you need to take it seriously. I'm tired of hearing, but they're boring and they don't work. They work, trust me. How do I know they work? They work for me. It was good enough to help me become number one player in the state, top 100 nationally ranked junior player, division one college tennis player, and any good player I've ever coached, guess what they do without even being told to do? They love to practice shadow strokes. And if you need more proof, just go take a look at Rafael Nadal. He's kind of good. You can see him all the time practicing shadow strokes before a tennis match. And if that wasn't enough, go watch the movie King Richard. Those young ladies, guess what? Those young ladies who have beautiful serves, better looking serves than you, have only been playing for about six months at the time that they filmed that movie. And how'd they do it? how they develop a world-class looking serve even though they were not world-class players? Shadow strokes. The coach did not let them hit one single serve until they started to look like Venus and Serena Williams. So you can either just keep doing what you're doing and get the same result, or you can change some habits and get a real serve that works in matches. Let's go to number three. Oh, the third bit of advice you really don't wanna to listen to. You really don't wanna hear it. Because what I'm gonna ask you to do is to work in serve progressions. I've already told you, haven't I already told you that practicing basket after basket of serves is not going to make you a better player. If you've got bad habits that need to be worked out, it's not going to happen by coming back here to the baseline and working on baskets and serves. Guess what we need to do instead? If you truly want a better serve, if you're just not giving yourself lip service, but you actually want to improve, you need to fall in love with this area of the court. Anywhere in here, close to the net, on the service line, practicing your serve all in this area, religiously, over and over and over again. Now I know what you're thinking, that's a baby serve, that's boring, I don't want to do that, I don't have time. Well, if Holger Rune, who just beat Novak Djokovic, one of the very few people to beat Novak Djokovic this year, doesn't mind going in this area of the court with Patrick Mortoglu to work out serve progression movements, then you shouldn't feel so bad about it because the serve is a complex mechanism. There are many moving parts. So you've got to learn them and mash them each individually before you can put the entire thing together. So just don't take my word for it. If that's what the best players in the world are willing to do, then you should be willing to do it too. Number four, film yourself. Do you actually know? Do you truly know exactly what you look like? How often, be honest, how often do you film yourself and analyze what you're doing on the serve? Right? How many times you come out here and hit a basket of serves and not filmed one single serve and your serve stays the same month after month, year after year with marginal improvements, right? And I already know what you're thinking. Well, you know, I mean, I still, I still have the time to, to film myself. You don't have the, really, you don't have the time to use this phone People say, I, I don't know how, I don't know how to film. Stop it. Stop it. You, you don't know how to take your phone, go and find the camera on your phone. You don't know how to find this camera and just click on that? You don't know how to do that? Are you serious? You don't know how to find video and click on video and then you see this red button here? Just, just hit that red button and, and just kind of point it in the direction of you and guess what you're doing? You're filming yourself. See, I'm, I'm filming myself right now. And if I serve, I can go back and look to see what my serve looked like. And that's the only true way I'm gonna be able to know, unless I've got a coach every single day giving me private lessons, but even they should be filming you to show you what you're doing right and wrong. That's the only way to really see, ah, oh, that's not right. I'd like to fix that. Don't be afraid to watch yourself on video. That's, that's a silly thing. That's another thing. People don't wanna see how they look on serve. How ridiculous. That's the only way you're gonna get better. I'll be back with the last thing you don't want to hear. Number five, rinse and repeat. It's, it's that simple. Rinse and repeat. Do the same things over and over and over again. Day after day, week after week, 
month after month. Stop chasing the shiny objects. Stop looking for easy way out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna seriously work on your shadow strokes until it looks perfect. You're gonna film yourself to make sure you look good. You're gonna work in progressions to break down the serve so you master each step. And then you're just gonna do that over and over and over again. And if you want more help, if you want more detail on what exactly a serve should look like, how you can get your toss perfect, how you can hit a slice serve, how you can hit a kick serve, how you can add more power to your flat serve, how the kinetic chain should be built, then I've got your back. You can go up here in the card section and you can get a free course right now, 33 free videos to get you started called Serving A to Z. And then next year in 2023 in February, we're gonna do a seven day serve challenge that shows you how to systematically practice your serve the right way. It gives you all the drills you're ever gonna need. And plus I'll be there as your personal coach to help you through this. Now, if you're still watching this video and you think it's made sense, even though you heard some stuff you might not wanna hear, but you liked it, give this video a like. If you like my buddy B2 who is running in and out during the video, give this video a like. If you wanna get a better serve in 2023, give this video a like. If you wanna see more tennis videos that help you get better, even though it's not exactly what you wanna hear, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.